2019 World Finals, and we are getting started with Pool D, the last pool where we're going to find out which two players will be getting to our top eight, which will be happening immediately after. So I'm excited to see this. I'm here with Spaghetti Rip. My name is Mark Man. How's it going, man? How's it going? How's it going? I dare say we've left the best for last. Yeah, How many the best commentary, players? the best <laughs> group. I'm excited to see this. Of course, you guys can see what we're looking at. Pool hmm. D, we have from Pakistan, Awai Sunny. From South Korea, Chanel. From the US of A, Jimmy J. Tran. Hmm. From Japan, Nobi. And Lohai from South Korea. Man, that is quite uh, the variety and also quite the level of high level skill <laughs> players. On another day, this could have been the top five of the actual tournament. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, of, the, of the finals. It's crazy. What a strong group. I mean, I cannot, I cannot call who is going to get out of this group. Uh, I mean, I can make predictions, but I don't want to do it just because I don't want to look yeah. like I don't know what I'm talking about because <laughs> that's already out there. Anyways, we're going to get into this matchup. First matchup oh of the pool. Oh, my God. We have Lohai going up against Nobi. Oh, this is crazy. What a first match. You are used Lohai versus Yamasa Nobi, Japan versus Korea. Now, look, Lohai is someone who I feel like has just leveled up so drastically this year to the point where I even said that I felt like he was the best in Korea, you know, next to me, uh, or one of the best players in the world. I, when I was in Korea, he won three tournaments in a single week. Yeah. This guy's so good right now. He's been playing non-stop Tekken. He says to me, all I do is I wake up, I, I wake up, I, I play Tekken, then I go to sleep. That's the kind of grind you need to do in order to be at the top level. He has ascended, though. He has gotten to another level. And right now, we're going to see how this is going to play out. Of course, Nobi, a legend, has, you know, he's been at, I think, every single world final since we started the Tekken World Tour as mm. well. But Nobi back here again. It is the battle that we expected. It is Shaheen versus Dragonov. Oh, boy. Oh, and we're seeing the red beret with the goggles, night vision. We might be going downstairs into the dark. <laughs> Dragonov has the best presets, man. Oh, immediate low parry. Here we go. Low high. Now, you know, I was talking to Lee uh, last night. He said he was explaining to me the differences in the styles between American, European, Japanese, and Korean. And he, when he got to Nobi, he said, mm, you know what? Nobi has his own style. Oh, yeah. He, he doesn't have a specific. He has his own style. Yeah, and it obviously works out for him, you know, right now, especially with a lot of eyes on Dragon. I have a lot of people thinking, you know, this is probably the best iteration since, you know, maybe season one. Mm, for sure. Man. Nice. Gets the counter hit and the follow-up here. That is chunks. I got to talk about Lohai, though. Lohai is one of those players, if you guys are unfamiliar with them, Former EVO champion, but also on top of that, he has probably some of the best reflexes in the game. Yeah, for sure. And it just, it, the only way he can get that is by playing so much Tekken. And, you know, he's been doing that. But first round to Nobi here. Nice. He's a legend for a reason. Oh, there's a punish there. I'm not sure if that's what he wanted there mm. with the Snake 3, but having an opportunity back to the wall, he's going to have to be very, very careful at how he's going to go about this. Yeah. Every match in this group is going to be a killer match. You have to play the best Tekken of your life if you want to get out of here. Oh, and the nice step here. He's going to get face Ooh. down to the floor, but a nice evade there from Nobi. Oh, my God. Chopping away with the down twos and goes for another low. Nobi two rounds up here. Nobi yeah. super calculated here. He is uh, making things count here. Yeah, for sure. I don't think we've broken any floors yet. I think we broke one. One? Yeah, all yeah. right. It was a bad memory for me. I, I stopped paying attention. <laughs> oh, and we're going down again to the bottom floor here. Mm -hmm. Should be able to find them away, especially with season. Ah, never mind. Yeah, miss input there. He was yeah. going for the cancel. Unable to get it with the Sandy 3, but got the slide instead. And look at this. He has a huge lead. What is going on here? Nobi putting hands on Lohai like it's nobody's business. <laughs> Lohai still in it though, gets it, but the second of the rage drive is not going to be dead, but it'll be very close. One more hit could do it here. Oh, oh, and he got caught. Jab into rage drive, and you know, Nobi, the master of that running attack. Running two, so good, and he got buffed in season three as well. Doesn't matter though, Lohai, what is he going to do here? He he's going to stick with Sheen, I'm sure. Yeah, he's going to go to stage select here. We're going to find out where we're going to get. Is he going to pick a stage? Is he going to go for the Korean Classic, an open stage maybe? Mm, yeah, he might go for the open stage. Looks like he's hovering. On Infinite Azure. He's opened up his stick now. Oh, interesting. Okay. Infinite Azure. Okay, here we go. Now, when I was in Korea, they were telling me that, you know, the Koreans would... Some people, they like to go to Infinite Stages when they think they're fundamentally stronger than their opponent. Because then it's just pure Tekken at that point. There isn't, there isn't going to be any weird wall splat, side wall. You know, a lot, we've already seen this weekend some really wacky stuff with the walls. Yeah. But this is pure Tekken right here. I, I think for the most part, a lot of people pick no wall stages just because they don't want to risk the potential damage that they're... They, they'll have more chances to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. They'll have more chances to live if they get hit by combos. Yes. So it really is, like you mentioned, it is all about your fundamentals and being able to outplay in the open. Yes. 
And obviously that doesn't change. There are no walls, man. If you get into a wall over here, man, you you found one more than I could. <laughs> Nobi right now. Let's see if he's able to continue this momentum. Mm -hmm. Yes, there we go. Finally blocking the down two, but oh the back gosh. swing. It's too early for that, Nobi. Back swing right away. The follow-up puts him into range. Now he has an opportunity. <laughs> one hit could do it. Oh my gosh, he whiffed. I don't know how that whiffed, but Lohai knew and he got the combo. Double tail spin. There we go. All right, it's about even on life, but now Dragunov Ooh. having rage. Oh, oh the double low jab. I can't believe it. That trade, unfortunate there for Lohai, did not have enough life. Jeez. Damn, yeah. Both I, guys went for the same option. I just had that phantom pain feeling where my arm got ripped off. <laughs> Trauma from, this, from the tasty steam. Yeah, man. Watch out for that guy. Mm. Get down to a chopping away mark. This is out poking him right now. Bro, no Nobi is playing like a man possessed. You know, like I said, Nobi not a stranger to the world stage, but you know, it's been a while since he's been able to place at the higher or the upper echelon, I would say. Yes, and here's another opportunity for Lohai. Let's see if he can break the momentum. He definitely needs to get around here. Same problem as last time. He puts him into rage. What's he going to do now? Oh, oh man, he has rage 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 Oh my god, the rage drive once again. Two for two? Damn, on the rage drive? Nobi on set point. A 2-0 start for Nobi would be perfect. Yeah, it'd be quite the exclamation point here to start off Pool D. Mm. But right now, I mean, Lohai's gonna have to fight back. We were just talking about how he has great reflexes, but Nobi has had amazing reads mm. to just outplay his opponent. And the experience, like you mentioned, he's been on the world stage so many times. Lohai, though, not a stranger to this situation. Yeah, and just the way that players are able to adapt, you know, Nobiza always has to constantly deal with this, reinventing himself, reinventing his character. Oh, he's in rage again. This is where he's dangerous. Oh, he has won in rage so many times, but the throw did not break at that time. Yeah, no break, and Lohai finally breaking the momentum, gets around on the board, but those down two still chopping away. He is not dealing with those lows, Mark. Yeah, it seems to be a problem for him. Oh, gets the counter hit, the follow up here, and right now, Lohai trying to rush him down, but still, about even on life. Yes. No, we still amounting the pressure. It was very, very close range tech in here. Good block on the down two, finally. Gets yeah. the punish. Able to stop some of that momentum. Woo! It pushes him away, gets the hop kick. He's going to seal the deal here. We're going to final round here. Match number two. Low high chance here to tie it up. And this is something that he wants. He wants to be able to win the set. Yes, it's very important to get these matches on the board. Looking for the reverse sweep here. Low high, three rounds straight. Can he do it? Okay, again, going at him with the throws here. Again, Lohai able to break. You gotta able test to, him. Oh man, he has to be careful here. Again, Nobi not afraid to use that down two. He, you're not gonna seal away his move. No. Some of his favorite moves. Running two, down two, that's always gonna come out. He has so much confidence. You can tell in his place out right now. Oh, oh doesn't get the punish. He didn't go for the shoulder. Wrong punish there from Nobi. We're even on health right hand. Nice side step. Oh, I thought he was sideways enough to go for the full straight. Unable to get it here. Nice break. Rage available, rage drive from Lohai, but he's not going to be able to use it as Nobi will take out Lohai 2-0 oh, with a he, perfect start. He popped off when he got that second down two, got the win. He is obviously feeling himself. That's a great start for Nobi and for Japan here in Pool D. Look, he is hes feeling good. He's loving it. <laughs> <laughs> he's feeling good, but he's going to go back and sit down as we get more of our matches up. But man, that was crazy. That was really crazy, especially considering how strong Lohai's been all season, man. He's been winning so... I can't even count on my hands how many tournaments this guy's won. Like, it's crazy. Constantly been playing either tournaments or going to offline sessions. Yeah. And we know offline sessions don't even happen anymore in Korea, but this guy wants to play offline. He gathers people together and he plays. He's been practicing really hard for this, but wow, Nobi still showing why he's a legend. Here we go. Let's have a look at the group's standings at the moment. So Nobi... Of course, we just had the one match, but now we're gonna have Chanel, Jimmy J. Chan, and Oasis Honey yet to play. Oh, and I think the next matchup we have, and I see him getting hype on stage. We got the birthday boy, Rocks Dragon Chanel, mm. shooting rock, paper, scissors right now with Genuine Gaming's Oasis Honey. So, Pakistan versus South Korea. This is a match that uh, a lot of people have been looking forward to, not just the player matchup, but just to see what a wise honey can do in this tournament. Yes, the, the, the hopes of Pakistan now rest on Awes Honey's shoulder. He is the last remaining Pakistani in this tournament. Bilal and Arslan are out. But Chanel, man, you know what? You know, before this World Tour start, started, someone asked me, who do you think is going to win this whole World Tour? And I said, you know what? I think Chanel. That Chanel was has been such a strong player. And he's another one that has been, you know, at the world stage yeah. year in, year out. Every single year, even dating back to the King of Iron Fist tournament yes. series, right? He's always been there, placing very well in the top eight. Last year, he got top eight as well. Yeah. 
But when's his time? When's he going to win a big tournament? That's the question because how many times has this man got second place? Yeah. So many times. And I was just thinking to myself, ha it has to happen. I got to ask you a question. Like, who, who would you say is probably the most dangerous man in Tekken? I think a lot of people would say Nii, right? Mm. His training partner is Janelle. There you go. He has to be equally as dangerous. He is, man. I mean, you can see it. Like, how many times, just like you mentioned, he places high all the time. He's just never able to get over that barrier where he's winning a tournament. Kind of the same as Kokoma, right? Yeah. But I was thinking to myself, surely yeah, his time has to come soon. Oh, yeah. And right now, before we get into the matchup, we're going to see some words here from OY Sunny. I played before uh, six years, uh, but I played in King of Fighter. But in Pakistan, the Tekken uh, community is more than the chaos. So I decided to play the Tekken because I like the game too much. Everybody wants Tekken, Tekken, Tekken in Pakistan. So that's why I chose Tekken after this. Awesome. Yeah. So like you mentioned, man, Pakistan, the two main games, KOF and Tekken, they're crazy about these games, Mark, man. These Pakistan going down there earlier this year was, uh, was really, really a treat to be able to see the passion these guys have. Um, but Awe Sani, man, he was the man that brought Akuma to the Pakistani shores. He's the one that taught everyone how to use the character. When he went, he wasn't even, like, he's from Lahore. He's from the, the, the city where all the top players are from. He actually went away from Lahore to another city called Faisalabad. And that's where he learned how to play Akuma. Really? He learned it from the arcades in Faisalabad. And then he took that information, brought it to Lahore, and he said, hey, <laughs> Do I have something for you guys? Oh, it's Chanel. Ooh! That, is that giving us some kind of indication of which character he's going to be using? I mean, it better. If he doesn't pick Zafina now, then I'm going to be upset. Oh, no, he's going to Elisa. <laughs> I'm baby. seeing hovering Elisa. Baited. But he can do what he wants. Yeah. He knows the matchups. He knows what he's getting himself into. I got to say, though, one of the storylines here, at least during the Tekken World Tour, at least the latter half of the year, mm -hmm. is not only Pakistan, but also the strength of Akuma yes. out of Pakistan. And we saw at the Master event in Tokyo Tech and Masters how dominant they yes. were. And Awais Honey really uh, sign uh, kind of like that's where he clinched a, a birth into the Tekken World Tour from For that sure. event. Yes, yes. The FB Cup in Malaysia and Tokyo Tekken Masters, these guys have been performing so well. But here is where it counts. The finals, Tekken World Tour Final 2019. The first match for both these gentlemen. Here we go. Korea versus Pakistan, Chanel versus OS Honey. Yeah, Chanel wanting this run back, of course. He said he remembers the Dubai event. He wants to be able to fight the demon, so to speak. And man, that was such a close set as well. Came down to 150-50 in the end. So I'm expecting the same here. Nice. Both of these players jockeying for position right now. Awise Honey, again, he's, he's been waiting the entire day to play in his pool. Now, finally here, we get to see this Akuma Master in action. Wow, he knew exactly when to go for that gap. Gets the Dragon Punch. Yeah, the DP right on that Chainsaw stance. He's been using a lot of that forward-forward right kick there mm -hmm. in conjunction with the homing move as well. Trying to really create some pressure moments here. And this is where it's important because you have to control the match, especially yep. when you don't have that meter and still be offensive at the same time, mindful enough to be able to build that meter along along the way. And I was just going to say, man, Chanel, his biggest strength is his lateral movement. He is able to sidestep better than most most people in the world. It's crazy. Of course, Elisa and Zafina, both his characters do have really, really good movement anyway, but he utilizes it so well. Nice. Gets oh. the punish here and the knockdown. It's going to have to be careful. They're right in the middle of the stage here, but I wouldn't be so... Oh, my gosh. Whoa. He gets the launch back turn there with the down 4-2-1. Now, what's he going to do here? What's the mix-up? He was going for some dirty stuff there. I've seen that before. Yeah. Using the homing move, trying to stop Chanel from sidestepping. Trying to discourage him. Heavy goal goes for the down. Uh, while sending two into Demon Flip. Nice. Gets the float here. He should be able to get the wall. He might be able to close it out. What's the... What's, oh, yeah. Very close. Oh. One more hit. Goes for the mid. Nice. Where's Honey on the board? All right, they're tied up on rounds here. Match number one. Of course, if you guys are tuning in, let everyone know. Twitch.tv slash Tekken. Tell everyone, man. Oh, yeah. Tell your mom, your dad, your granddad, everyone. Uh, there's a follow-up. He's able to get the focus, and he should get the wall here. Mm. Lights him up. Oh, oh safe on the floor. Good. See, that's a crazy mix-up, too, because, I mean, if you stay there, he could re-splat you, right? Yeah. But then if you get up too soon, that wall signing, two is going to float you anyways. And there you go. Chanel trying to float the Demon Flip, which is not a good option, especially OS Honey knows how to deal with that. He has multiple options to beat the jab. Oh, Oy. that's such a great move there. Able to make sure he gets the hit down forward 1-2 for the win and Hawaii's Honey. Yeah, he's been using a lot of mid here, but here we go. Finally uses the low. Condition Chanel not to duck. And there we go, taking it to the wall. Oh, and he's going to get the follow-up here, realigns himself, gets the two hits of the string. Yeah. 
Shadell doing a good job to stay on the floor. Doesn't want to get hit by any mix-ups. Nice punish there. Could have got four, though. Oh, and the chainsaws are out. You're going to have to be careful. You don't want to get cut. Mm -hmm. okay. Kind of looks like uh, Akuma's outfit's already been cut a few times. <laughs> Tattered all over the place. He's seen some battles in his time. Oh, yeah. Again, this pressure about even on life. Both these players right in the middle here. Nice back one and a low parry. Beautiful. Here we go. He's not going to be dead, though. Chanel will have another chance. Oh, will he? Yes, he will. One Oi. mix up and there just goes for the simple low attack. Sometimes, I mean, just because, you know, most of Akuma's low attacks kind of have that low profile animation, that one is kind of tricky. It's kind of hard to see because he's doing it from the standing position. Yes, yes. Anyways, a wise honey drawing first, but getting that first match looks like Chanel content with using Elisa still in this matchup. He's going to continue to use that character, but what stage are we going to now? At this point, man, you, you know, it was is the Is it the finals. Korean Classic? Yes. But at this point, you know, he's got a game plan, man, and that's what he's going to stick with, and I, 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 you know, I respect it. All right, so we are now going into an open stage. Oh, where's Honey, man? Not only is Pakistan on his side, I'm, I'm guessing most of Australia is going to be on his side as well. The Aussies out there. Definitely going to be on his side there. Let's go. Second match. 1-0 up for West. Oh, yeah. Of course, Genuine Gaming base out of Australia, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see how they're able to utilize their cheering for their champion. Right on, mate. Let's go. Oh, where's Honey? All right. Nice. Oh, and he goes Ooh. for a teleport. What the hell was up. that? He was trying to do some new stuff. I've not seen that before. Saving it for the finals. Yeah, there's one, well, there's one day to do it. Today's the last day. <laughs> yeah. Let it all hang out. Alisa with rage now. Punish that. Ooh, yes. try to light him up. Nice punish there from Chanel. And Oi. the rage drive. Blue stuff. Let's go, Chanel on the board. Chanel, man, he's fully equipped. He has all the items on as well. Oh, oh. man, that is what Awais is so good at. And it's the reason why he's been winning tournaments is that standing two with Punisher. Yeah, he is quite the master when it comes to, you know, just the natural spacing with Akuma and optimizing, maximizing his combo potential. And, you know, he's one of the ones like, I mean, everyone's dropping Akuma's like left and right, right? Yeah. His consistency is probably one of the highest out there. Mm -hmm. Because a lot, for a lot of these people, Akuma is not their main character. Akuma is Awais Honey's main character for building, playing him from the start. Yeah. And I think that's really why we see the consistency more often from players like Super Akuma and, of course, Awais. Yes, absolutely. All right, let's see this. How, what's he going to do here? Still trying to find this opening. I mean, Chanel really hasn't had an opportunity to, to take advantage of any of the matchup. Oh Momentum-wise, it's huge. And look at this, another big combo from Wise Honey. Yeah, Wise Honey finding his range there, getting the down through and clean hit. If you're wondering what clean hit means, it means you have to be in close range in order for that to actually combo. And Wise yeah. Honey is finding that close range. And this time it wasn't. Yeah, if you're too far away and you go for the fireball cancel, you're not able to confirm into more combo damage. Mm -hmm. And it's just a waste of uh, build resources there. Yes. Okay, nice block wow. and the punish. <laughs> the defense and Wes Honey. One round away from taking the, his first match two to nothing. Oh, nice. Able to get behind him. Sneak attack with the chainsaws. The oh, beat just dropping, and here we go. The back one successful. The follow up here and going for the mix up. What's he gonna do? Oh man, he tried to pick him up again. Yeah, but good patience again from Chanel, but he has a massive life deficit here. Awais Honey looking good at the moment. Can Chanel bring it back? Yeah, and right now Awais is threatening with those mids, and you know, it's gonna be quite the different story because you would expect a low coming up, especially when he has the meter. Oh my god, he's just standing there. Oh, and sometimes that's the scariest thing. <laughs> you stare into the eyes of the demon. He doesn't have to take any risks here. No. Oh, oh my god! He what I was say? able to beat it out. This is huge. He's going to get a lot of damage. It's not going to kill, but he puts him into the red. That was huge damage. Oh, oh my god. He had him out of the air that time, though. Oh my oh god! Oh my gosh! It's not over yet. Oh, and the pop off as well, Chanel. Okay. The... Chanel feeling himself here. The birthday boy. I mean, you got to have the confidence, right? You're going to go against one of the best players in the world. You have to make sure you feel yourself. And look at this. Goes with the reset. Damn, that down to punish. Nice duck, but not quick enough to get the punish. Mm -hmm. Forward, forward, forward. Oh. Homing move. Everything seems to be working for the Wise. One more hit could do it. Not over yet, though. Nice, gets the punish. No way. No Chainsaws way. Chainsaws are out. No way. Oh, no way, Chanel. No way. Is he going to make this comeback? Oh, mix right. up time. That was expected. Here's the low. Oh. And again, it goes for the throw. Punish that. Oh, ah. and he goes for such a huge risk with the up forward four there. Obviously, punish and a wise honey yes. taking the point 2 0. 2 0. So that's, that's now two players that have won 2 0 yeah. in their first matches Nobi and Away. So we're, we're not getting the classic Tekken final round, final match. Yeah. It's not happening today. It's Are we trying to like speed things up for top eight? Yeah, maybe. Man, that was nuts. So we, that was a great match, obviously. We're going to go ahead and get our next match. 
up on stage. I believe it's going to be USA's Jimmy J. Tran oh, out of Northern California, and he's going to be going up against Yamasa Nobi from Tokyo. You know, the thing about Jimmy is I feel like, you know, he doesn't travel to as many tournaments as other people, but this man doesn't need to. Like, he's actually, so consistent. Maybe man. not internationally, but he actually did travel quite a bit this year. You know, oh, he's been the US, to at least in the, in, the, in the Western region. He went to every single uh, master event, right? Right, okay. But I think we do have... Uh, an update here. Let's see where we're at, man. Look at the the group right now. Yes. This is uh, it's starting again. You know, this has happened every single group that we've seen so far. You know, it starts off nice and smooth, and it starts getting hectic, and then I just start pulling out my hair by the end. <laughs> it's very easy to follow what's going on right now. Nobi and Away Tiny are literally tied at the moment with two and uh, with one match each, winning it 2-0. And Chanel and Loha, of course, being the uh, the victims of both of those guys. Jimmy J Chan there in the middle, yet to play his first match, but he is up on stage. Waiting for his opponent, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be the classic. I mean, they're going to go for the rock, paper, scissors. They're going to find out which side is going to go to the, I guess, the advantage. I mean, you know, yeah. I know Jimmy always prefers one player side, but we'll see how that's going to play out. Was it was it um, 2017 finals where Jimmy and Nobi played? And, and they, went, did... they went at it. Yeah. They but, went but at Jimmy it, yeah. won, right? And oh, he did a yeah. little pop-off. Yep. Was, was, that, was that? Yeah, the, the finger guns? That was that. <laughs> Hope he does that again, man. Jimmy, if he wins, I know, I know he can hear me. If you, if you win, you got to do the little... The finger guns? Don't do the finger guns, man. <laughs> Waving to the crowd, of course. We're waiting for the matchup, of course. It's going to be happening in just a bit. But, man, if you guys have been tuning in, it's been a fun-filled year of the Tekken World Tour. <sighs> this is our final day. I hope you guys are excited because right now we are whittling down to get towards our top eight and, of course, all the action in between now and then. But man, I got to give it up, man. Everybody that's been tuning in, twitch.tv slash Tekken yeah. the entire year. And there's a lot of people restreaming right now. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Shout out to all those guys restreaming. But I want to ask you, Mark, because you've been in the Tekken scene for longer than anyone, man. Yeah. And way longer than I have. How has it been to see the, the development of Tekken from, from way back then to, to where it is now? It's, it's just a nice feeling to see that this game realized its potential. I've always believed in this game, but now we're seeing it as one of the games that has grown so much year over year, not just in viewership, not just in tournament entries, but just, you know, love for the game. Right. And it's a genuine good game that everyone has grown to love, and I like that. I know so many people now that are watching Tekken, and they're watching it at a level where, you know, they may not be as emotionally invested as, as a lot of other people, but they can respect the game, and they can let people know that, hey, Tekken's one of the best fighting games, if not the best fighting game out there. Absolutely, man. I agree 100%, but here we go. Our players are up on stage. Nobi from Japan versus Jimmy J. Tran, and I believe we have some words from Nobi about the tournament. Go play. Tekken is a lot of Pakistan players that have come out of the world. It's a lot of people that have come out of the world. It's a lot of people that have come out of the world. It's a lot of people that have come out of the world. It's a lot of people that have come out of the world. が要は鉄拳というものは日本で作られたゲームだからこそ僕たちが本当は勝ちたいって気持ちはすごい強いのでできる限り日本人全員がベスト8以上に残って結果を出せるように頑張っていきたいなと思います。Wow, and you know, just like just like Margin and Bumble was telling us yesterday, man, these guys are very prideful and they, you know, they're very passionate about the game. Just like he said, Tekken's origins are in Japan. He's like, let's make Japan great again. This year, they've already been playing at such a high level, like we haven't seen before, and you know, we've already got some Japanese representation in top eight. Nobi, on his way to get there as well. Yeah, wants to meet up with Double Double. Obviously, qualified on the winner side, and I believe Chikorin also qualifying on the winner side as wow. well. Wow, damn. Japan putting in work here, but he has to go up against one of the best players in the world here and one of the best in America, Jimmy J. Tran. A run back from the previous finals. Yeah. Can Nobi win it this time? Yeah, those guys ended up meeting up in pool play as well. And Jimmy getting the upper hand in that one, that was back in 2017. Mm. But here we go. Deep breaths, the meditation, the focus from both of these players. It's the matchup that we did expect. Brian Fury versus Dragunov. Here we go. Let's do it. Kinder Gym. Not often that we see the stage. Round one. It's a colorful stage. Fight. Nice. Nice block there. Mm -hmm. Surprised he didn't go for the new punish there and the knockdown. Well, early days, I think he'll 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 know. He'll yeah. realize he he'll has to use it. He'll warm up into it, right? Yeah. <laughs> nice counter hit one to one. And right now, Nobi controlling the spacing at least on the stage. What a big counter hit, shotgun bang. That is good. And the big damage as well. Brian hits very, very hard. Here we go. What's the OG? Oh, oh my god! Nobi, I told you it's too early for this. He's that's, that's dead, right? He's right. What? Oh, what is he doing? That is not a move you combo with. <laughs> but did you that could sure. have been that could have been bad. That could have been very but bad. But he recovered. But wow. I think uh, obviously he wanted running one plus two, but he just uh, maybe missed input. He just didn't press the one plus two, he just started running. 
All right, gets the slidey. Nice. I mean, again, Nobi just continuing off where he left off earlier when he yeah. had that nice matchup. But man, he is playing out of his mind. He was able to beat Lohai. Now so working convincing. on Jimmy J. Man, the pokes as well. Utilizing at the perfect time as well. And that's the yeah. thing too, man. This is Dragonov as far as I'm concerned. Nobi, one of the best Dragonov players of all time. This is reminding me of Tekken 6, Nobi, now, where he was just so dominant. Like anyone that he would play against, he would beat. Here we go, another big launch here from Nobi. Yo, and he has the reads on reads right now. He's doing such a great job. Man, wall Damn. to wall. The uh -oh. combos. And right now, Jimmy taking back some of that momentum. He really needs this. He's gonna have to be very careful at how he's gonna get, uh, move on from this juncture. He has a sliver of life and it wasn't enough. That down two. How many times has he been able to hit that down two without being challenged? It's crazy. Nobi's timing right now and his move choices are impeccable. That is three. Was that three rounds straight? That was three quick rounds straight. Damn, Nobi. Looking like a beast right now. What is Jimmy gonna do? He's gone to the character select screen. Maybe just to take a little bit of time. He's not, never gonna switch away from Brian. He's always gone for Brian here. He's taking some time here just to think. All right, he has the ability to pick a stage here, of course. Yeah. And he's gonna go to his favorite. Looks like G Corp Helipad. Yep. Always uh, chooses to go there. Probably one of the most creative stages in the game. You have. Uh, polar wall, you have walls on the opposite side of stages here that are breakable, of course, that leads to more potential damage. Yeah, and we've seen the, we've seen the combos he's been able to do on yeah. this stage in tournament, and they're very, very damaging. So hopefully we can see some Jimmy, we see Jimmy get some opportunities there, but Nobi playing like a beast, man. Uh, we hear the USA chants in the crowd. There we go. It's probably the, the Thai community. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Both guys not wearing headsets as well. They can get soak in all of that energy. Here we go, second match. Nobi up 1-0. Nice, 1-4. Able to just space outside of the range there. Nice step and kick, but unable to get anything out of it. Jimmy again, starting to sidestep, starting to work some of his defensive magic. Mm -hmm. Jimmy J, such a methodical player. Definitely took some time to think about what he needs to do. Why did he lose? Those are the questions you gotta ask yourself. You know what? It's all this stuff we're talking about, but you know what? He's just playing normal Tekken. Normal Tekken. All right, let's see what he does with it, though. Back to the wall. He's going to have to be very careful here. Does not want to get splat. I mean, and, you know, Dragonov has so many more tools now that really increases the danger of his wall game. Oh, my God. He's not letting him get up. He has rage available. Jimmy J. Tran. Oh. The, oh, my God. Nobi with the pressure. Not letting, him, not letting him get comfortable. And, and that's the, the strength, I think, in Nobi, is his ability to kind of delay and use that down two in conjunction with every other tool set that uh, Nobi has. And the down two is so good as well because it, it, it tracks to both sides. But here we go, Nobi with another launch. Yeah, gets a crowd chest, and he's going to make use of the wall here. Let's see what he does. Damn, oh! Plus frames. Huge laugh here from Nobi. Jimmy J. Tran does not know what to do right now. Nobi is on set point once again to take it 2-0. So it's, I mean, it's very, it's five straight rounds. This is, this is looking bad. Yeah, he's gonna have to turn things up here, make some adjustments there, goes for the mock kick, unable to get anything from it. But a good counter here, just to break the momentum a little bit. Jimmy should get a decent combo here, break the wall to the next one. Nice side wall stun, able to still move forward. Look at all that damage here. It's his round to lose and he's mm. able to get it. Jimmy J. Chan drawing his first round here in the set. Yes, is that what he needed? Just a little bit of momentum, here we go, goes for the double knees. Yeah, second hit. And again, Nobi still very confident, but a nice dunk there, he knows that. Mm -hmm. Jimmy J staying attentive. This could be big, goes for the running slash kick, no one's home. It's okay though, he wasn't punished too hard for it. Oh my god, the third hit of the string, Nobi. Oh, this damage. Rage available, drop down two, down two again, this time for the perfect punish, season three, baby. Jimmy J trying to take it into a final round. Yeah, he knows that uh, sometimes, you know, the tendencies of uh, Nobi, he likes to go for his multiple down two, sometimes down two, sidestep down two. Yeah. But he's aware. Nobi off to a quick start again. He is not letting up the pressure. Doesn't com confirm the hit. Oh, that was an opportunity. He was trying to go for the, the top jet up, or the jet up there, I should yeah. say. One more oh. hit, we'll do it here. Nobi, one more hit, and there it is. Nobi taking it 2 0 over Jimmy J. Chan, getting his run back. And he is now in such a good position in this group. He's undefeated match wise so far in the pool. He's up 2 0, but he's won every single match. Four games. 2 0 as well. That is insane. Nobi 
What what have they been doing in Japan, Mark? They've been training. They've been getting ready. He Damn. mentioned it in the video as well. Mm. The entire world is focused on certain players, and he hopes mm. that he's able to take it back for Japan. That's what it is, man. Like, I, I feel like, he, you know, for him, he says, look, Pakistan, people are concentrating on them now. It used to be that people were concentrating on Japan and Korea. Now that con that concentration has shifted, and I think he doesn't really like that. He's like, no, you know, why, you need to respect Japan. And now yeah. he's fighting for not only himself, but for his country. And that's why we, we might be seeing him play so well right now. Yeah, sometimes you got to fight just for more than yourself. And look at this, Nobi with a commanding lead here. Obviously, he's only played two matches, but still, that's a good position to be in. And right now, I mean, mm -hmm. everybody else is uh, playing catch-up, right? Yeah, absolutely. And our next match is going to be a good one. It's one that is uh, very important as well. We have Chanel going up against Lohai, two guys that have uh, lost in a pretty bad fashion. So they need to get a win on the board. This is a very important match. Chanel, of course. So these guys have played each other. Check out that. Check out that. Okay, Chaneling so energy? <laughs> Channeling, Chaneling energy? That's tight. I like it. Tight. Uh, exclamation mark. Joystick in the chat for the finest gaming peripherals, as you, as you saw there by um, our boy Chanel. All right. Let's both of these guys getting ready, getting adjusted. But again, shout out to Kwamba USA, of course. Official joystick partner of the Tekken World Tour. The finest. Fine. The finest. All right, both of these, I mean, mm. what do you think? I mean, do you I'm think we're going to see the classic? Is it going to be Shaheen versus Alisa, I'm or are we going to get a surprise? Are we going to see Zafina? No, nah, I think it's going to be Shaheen, Alisa. I mean, All I right. have seen these guys play. I think Lohai has been taking it um, more over Chanel, but it's always been very close. So business He's, as usual then. All I right. believe so. I believe so, yeah. Um, the fact that he didn't go to Zafina last match as well kind of makes me think that he wants to rock with Alisa for the whole tournament. And there it is. Yeah, Shaheen and Elisa is going to be the match. G Arctic Snowfall. Sometimes you got to believe. Thank God for the machine. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, here we go. Match number one. Both of these players uh, have not gotten a win yet here in, in group stage. Yeah, they definitely need one on the board. And it would be good if it was 2-0 as well. Because every match counts when it comes to the standings. Yeah, they're playing catch up at this point. Mm -hmm. All right, Arctic Snowfall, no walls. But you don't need that if you're a robot, right? No, you don't. <laughs> you don't need it if you're a real-ass Habibi either. Let's get into it. Shaheen right. versus Alisa. Sorry, up goes for the tracking move, but unfortunate there. Got a ton of poke damage just because of the off-axis nature. His ability to sidestep. Yeah. Okay, he's trying to stay in that close range right now. Low height, mounting the pressure. Alisa definitely does a lot better at the at the mid range, so Lohai's not going to want to give him too much space. Here we go, runs up to him, does down forward two. This should be close to death. Yeah, and I think that move is going to be key. The use of down forward two, and of course, just kind of spacing it out in the ways that a lot of players have been doing with Shaheen lately. That's going to be key in the matchup. Yeah. Oh man, Lohai keeping it so simple and safe there with the down forward one. Finishes the round. Gets on the board. All right, and Chanel trying to change things up using the jab in conjunction with that down forward four. Going for some of the quicker pokes here. Really trying to control the spacing. Mm. Lohai, what you gonna do to deal with it? Nice punish there. Yeah, trying to go for the slide mix up, but Chanel's backdashing too good. Elise has always been known as a counter with really, really good movement, but here we go, low parry from Lohai. Yep, gonna get the conversion here. Goes for the surf. Can Lohai win this match without taking the Kefir off? Keep it oh, on his that's, head. That's the mark of a true perfect right there. <laughs> Keep your head on straight. I'm talking to both characters. <laughs> All right, nice. Able to open him up with the down four. But again, about even on life for both of these players. Someone's going to have to take a risk here. There's no time left. Goes through the grab. I think Loha has a small, small life lead. Not anymore. Ooh, Ooh, and clutch. Right when you went for the down three. Chanel ready for it. Ended up with the hop kick series. And look at yep. that on the scoreboard. Yep. One round of PC in the first game. Uh-oh, chainsaws were out. Yeah. He wasn't having any of that. Yeah, he wanted to put those away straight away. Again. Yeah, this, this is good stuff. Relentless poking here from Loha. The chainsaws come out once again. And yeah, a nice little low poke just to put the chainsaws away. Yeah, I mean, both of these players are probably some of the best when it comes to just getting in your face and using safe tactics, safe pokes, limiting your opponent's movement, limiting their, their spacing as well. It's crazy from Loha going for those big bees there with a the hop kick. Not punished from Chanel, though, luckily. All these rounds going right down to the wire. No, nope. no head today. Not today. I'm on a diet. <laughs> All right, the follow-up here and able to get the confirmation with the hit. And look at that, Chanel on the scoreboard with two rounds to one right now. 
looking to take that first match. Mm -hmm. Oh, out oh. of range and gets the grab. He had the sidestep, could have got more from that. Still though, low high working. Nice. Counter jab. And wow. to the instant while rising too. This is gonna be a big damage combo, the follow-up here. Yeah, you spoke about Mark, his, his reactions are so good, man. Oh, the hell sweep. And that's a crazy thing too. I mean, obviously it's easy to, to see if, you know, it's telegraphed, but he pulled that out of nowhere. And that was the first time he used that punch in that matchup. Instantly ducked it as well, yeah. yeah he was ready. He knows the ranges. Final round, first game. Finally goes for the slide. Chains was out once again. Nice down forward one. Slidu. Guaranteed hit there. Oh man, he was out of range there. <laughs> was he going for the wall setting too? I think so. Oh, oh how did that happen? He did had the right read, but it just didn't connect. Did that go under a hop kick? Yeah. I mean robots nowadays, man, technology. <laughs> the future's now. Yeah. All right, and Chanel, I don't know. There, it, it's hard to say. I think Lohai has a slight lead here. Not anymore. Again, the hop oh. kick, and that's going to be enough. He should be able to close that out as long as he gets this combo in this. He does. Yeah, keeps it simple. And Lohai with the first match. A very, very close match, though. Chanel now needs to think hard. Oh, no, never mind. He doesn't want to think hard. Straight back in. It was a close match. He wants to keep the momentum going. They're going right into the rematch. He's content with no walls. Mm -hmm. This, I mean, I don't know, man. Sometimes it's good to take a breather, right? It is, yeah. But it's funny. When I was, like, again, when I was in Pakistan, like, when I was watching the, the tournament there, nobody took a breather. Everybody was straight Those guys rematch. are used to playing as many matches as they can. It's, yeah. it's, it's as little time as they can. Those guys are first to 30 monsters. <laughs> oh, oh, nice punish there. Right in the gut. Look at that. Low high. Look at the damage as well. That's the biggest buff that Gene got in Season 3. It's just a damage buff from the combos. Yeah. All right. And he's just very content. Again, playing it safe. Double Scorpion. Nice punish there. Mm -hmm. Notice how Lohai is also dashing up into the down forward run to realign with Chanel's movement. It's a way to beat the sidestepping. Nice. Man, Lohai is just looking really, really strong right now. He's starting to outpace. It's really starting to show here in the matchup against Chanel. Yeah. He is winning. The exchange is up close. He's winning on the spacing game. Chanel's going to have to start taking risks. I hate to say it. Yeah, but it looks like Lohai's getting warmed up, man. That's a dangerous Lohai to play against as well. Chanel oh, yeah. needs to break the momentum right now. Yeah, anytime Lohai is starting to feel himself and you start seeing these clutch reads, hop kicks over low, stuff like that, yeah. that's when he becomes most dangerous. Mm. All right, nice. Yeah, able to beat the option there. Yeah. Good option to select. Big counter hit. Okay, decent damage for the get up kick here. Counts here from low high. Yeah, man, get up kicks have been the MVP of the weekend, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see what he does with it. He does have a slight life lead. Again, both of these players jockeying for that position. Wow, oh, he gets string. the full string. Damn. No rage for low high, though. Just outside of it. Literally. Oh, he just, he was really cheeky with that one. That was crazy. <laughs> oh, the chainsaws. All right. Cut him up. Yeah. Chanel on the board. Fight. This is a very close match. And again, both of these guys are right at the bottom of the group as well. They need this win so desperately. Such yeah. an important match for the standings. Nice. Goes the back three. Oh, he was able to step it. And look at that. Mm -hmm. Chanel with the lead. But, oh my, no, never mind. It's too close to call. Yeah. Looks like Lohai is out in front. Oh, a big counter hit again. That's the second time he set him up for that. It's going to be a big chunk of damage. Leaves low high in rage, though. So he has access to that 40 frame rage drive launcher. Yeah, if he's able to confirm it. Yeah. That's the thing. It's a two piece. Mm -hmm. well, what's he going to do here? Nice. Good damage there. Chanel, one sliver away from taking this round and going into the lead here in match number two. Try to throw out the rage drive, but Chanel was ready for us. So here we go. Trying to even up the set here. Chanel, one round away. Oh, he finished it. Wasn't ready for that second hit. Mm. Able to get some extra damage out of it, but Lohai fighting back now. Yeah, playing a lot more aggressively. Look at the pokes. Hey, hey. Oh my, oh my I, god. I, I just lost my lunch. <laughs> sometimes this, this, this movement, sometimes the art of doing nothing in Tekken is the scariest thing. It's so cool though, right? In a game where you just do nothing and it's just so hype. Yeah. <laughs> People are screaming just because he's standing there. <laughs> Okay, both guys in rage. Oh, oh he's able to stump the rage drive. And look at that, tied up on rounds. And there we go. Now UYU's low high on set point to take it 2-0 over Chanel. It's been a very close set. But the 2-0 is all that matters to low high right now. Yeah, this is big. I mean, if he's able to take it, I mean, best position, of course, would be able to get two straight matches, like you said. Yes. The low high really needs this one. But Chanel with the lead, back turn. Damn, going for the tricks. Yeah, back turn shenanigans. 
And again, look at this, just solid play overall from Lohai. He's poking away both guys. Uh oh, in the red now, he's gonna have to be careful. Oh, the low slide, and Chanel is gonna even it up one match apiece. What Stage select. Do? Stage select. All right, so. Maybe he wants walls. I mean, I, I, it's hard to say for either one of these players, walls can benefit both. I mean, they both have great combo damage, but I feel like the wall carrying the consistency is probably in Shaheen's favor. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And that's what Lohai wanted for sure. He went straight to the Mishima Dojo, no thinking about it. And it's the final match here. So important. You have to say that the loser of this match is prob is most likely going to be out, man. I mean, it's a very bad position, but we have seen good comebacks already today. Definitely not over by any means for both of these guys, but you definitely want this win. All right, starting it off, goes for the full string here. Going back the other way, the big counter hit and the follow up from Lohai. Yeah, a quick start here for Lohai. Trying to keep him out there with the long down forward four. Again, going for that down forward two. Unable to get anything out of it. Goes for the throw. Yeah, he has a laughing now. So Lohai doesn't really need to take any big, big risks. Again, Chanel showing why his sidestepping is one of the best in the world. And again, using that sidestep attack. Just trying to get in. Trying, trying to find these opportunities. And right now, whittling away at Lohai's life bar. Yeah. Back to the wall. He's going to have to be careful. Just like that Chanel. Oh, man. That should be the round. Yeah. Le Scorpion. Nice, Lohai. Round with the momentum. Yeah, Lohai with the lead right now. And this is tough again. As we mentioned, neither one of these players have a win yet. This yeah. is crucial for them. Very, very crucial. Especially because both of them lost 2 0 as well. Yeah. Again, right now, counter jabs. Chanel starting to use that 1 2. Oh, ended up whiffing. Wanted to get the pickup there on the whiff slide. Yes, unfortunate, man. Chanel. Not quick enough. Lohai just chilling. Yeah, he should be. I mean, don't want to take a risk. Goes into the low again. Yeah. I think Loha is quite happy to take it. Goes with the hop kick. Nice punish there with the 1-1. One, one. Got chainsaws now. Good block in. Still has a small life lead here, but his position is to the wall. No break on the throw. Yeah. Goes for it and look. Has him at the wall and he catches him. That might be it. Uh-oh. Uh oh no. Whoa. Puts the head away. The down three. Chanel clutching it. Yeah, the range of the down three. One of the best options he had in that, in that opportunity. Yeah. I like it. Making sure he has at least that. And the thing is, with that on hit, it at least has a built-in mix-up as well, because he has the second hit as well. Absolutely. Oh, how did, how did that second hit win? Oh, if you first, you don't succeed, do try it again. And, try and try again. Take it to the wall. This is going to be a good combo. Never mind. Commentator's curse. Still in yeah. effect. It's one of those days. It's a real thing. All right, the follow-up here. Using those down threes. And Chanel with the range right now has a good opportunity. Goes for the drive and the low. See, the thing is, you know, Lohai not wanting to take the risk, not wanting to duck after that sequence as well. Yeah. He wants to finish it with a down forward one. That's the safest option here for Lohai. Oh, he tried to whip punish. He's able to get it. That persistence there. And right now, Lohai one round away from taking the set. This is very, very important. Can Chanel take it to a final, final round? Oh, down forward two. It just might happen. Nice, right, pushing towards the wall here. He has him in the corner. Good positioning here. Lohai's going to have to do something to get out of there. Uh oh, put the brakes on. Chanel. So close to taking it to a final round. Oh no, put the hit confirm on the down back two string. Doesn't get a big combo from it, luckily for Chanel. Still in this. Let's see what he does with it. Again, just chopping away. Mm. Having this opportunity. Oh, he got wall him with the second hit and the wall bounce to follow him. Is that it? Look at this combo. Oh, oh my. my God. Oh my days. Oh my days. Tied up here. Here we go. Final, final round. Who's gonna be? I, I, I can't tell. It all comes down to this. The loser oh. of this match will be 0 and 2 in the bracket. Here we go, Slidu, low high. Gets the follow up here, of course, going for that. Again, no. look at this lead oh, here. He had it. He had it. Oh, he caught him out of the air, though. It's not gonna do as much damage as he wanted. But it was a nice adjustment on the combo. Look at that. Decent chunk. Good oh. Oki as well. Keeps him there. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Chanel has rage available. Look at the oh, pressure. Gets the counter hit. Guaranteed follow up and low high. Able to take it and now. Unfortunate for Chanel. Now 0 2 in the in the in the group. Yes, and Loha keeping his hopes alive here in Group D of the Tekken World Tour Finals. Ladies and lads, it is looking like it's going to be a fun one. Lohai definitely not out of it, man. He's been playing too good to go out this early, man. 
all, all throughout the year, winning tournaments. He's won master events, Rev Major, he went down there. He said he only went down there to actually play <laughs> Away Sunny, who's actually in his pool. And he ended up winning the tournament. In, in Korea, been winning all the tournaments, making top level Koreans look like they would just had no business to be in there with him. Yeah, so, speaking of a wise honey, as you mentioned, uh, he's actually coming up on stage right now. We're about to see a long-awaited matchup. Oh. You guys can see the players on the screen right now. It's going to be USA versus Pakistan. Have these two played? I don't think they have. No, they haven't played before. I think Jimmy, the only Pakistani he's played is Arslan, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and he's, he's always done well versus Arslan, yeah, right? Yeah, they're like, one and one as far as I'm concerned in, yeah. in tournament play. The uh, Invitational tournaments. Um, I think that was the one before Evo. Jimmy won that one. Yeah. And you guys can see on the screen right now, Jimmy ended up losing his opening match here in group stage. So he obviously needs this one to yeah, stay he, in contention, right? He is definitely also in that same position where he needs to get a win on the board. And that would put him tied with Lohai as well. Actually, it would, it would tie him with, with Owesani and Lohai since Owesani would also be one and one Yeah, this so, is yeah. where it gets crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy J. Tran. This is someone that you know he knows the matchup. He know he knows the matchup, but he also has a lot more knowledge. He's got a message for us on the stream. Take it away. So competitive Tekken is kind of like uh, an offset of what I grew up in. I grew up in the arcades, and it was a very competitive scene. And uh, recently, I feel like I've lost, I've kind of lost touch with my love of the game and love of computing. So I try to think back to my earlier beginnings where I would play in the arcade without any sort of money or anything, just playing for pride and trying to win against the opponent next to me. That's deep. I mean, that is deep. Just thinking about that, sometimes you have to remember like where you came from, how competition used to be back in the day. I mean, yeah, you could be at the top of the world, but you always got to think back what makes you a better player. Absolutely, man. You know, he's just trying to think back what, what, what made him have that drive to compete, you know? Trying to go back and remember back in the day in the arcades, and hopefully he's found that because he's going up against a beast right now. Oh, where's Honey? Oh, oh my god, we're gonna see this matchup. I can't wait. Now look. I know Aries is restreaming at home, or hopefully he's <laughs> restreaming. He's probably losing his mind. <laughs> now, you know, we've seen from Nii already that Nii chooses to go for Brian versus the Akuma matchup. He has so many tools to beat Akuma. 3 plus 4 will counter hit the down 2s. It'll keep Akuma out. Yeah. So much damage as well when you block a down 4. Let's see if Jimmy can utilize all the tools. Yeah, to keep the demon at bay. Let's see what he does. Jimmy J. Tran, obviously, you know he is a lab monster. He has definitely studied the tapes. Instantly going for that 3 plus 4. Such a solid keep out move. Counter hit launcher as well. Yeah. And that's a scary thing too. With that 3 plus 4, he's going to have to watch out because Akuma still has options. You know, he has the ability to jump. He has the focus attack. Yes. It's not free. Oh man, he doesn't get the second and third hit of that. Wow, sidestep into the wild standing one. And that's a move which has so much pushback. I don't even think Akuma can get punished. Anymore. Nice. Get some decent, really, wow. actually, really good damage off of that. And Jimmy J. Tran taking that first round. Very solid first round there from Jimmy. Yeah, he had actually a very tough match opening up against Nobi earlier on. Let's see if he's been able to adjust here. Mm -hmm. Might oh. have been called. Owais Honey is finding his range at the moment. He's not committing heavy. Got you see, that is the classic Owais Honey. Yeah. The whiff punish there, and he gets the damage. Oh my gosh. Owais Honey standing two on the money. Here we go. Looking for the seven golden letters. There it is. And that launch, you don't get that launch on accident. That that was confidence right there. You, you man. Yeah, so he good. knew he knew there was gonna be a duck there. Alright. Once again. Oh, the punish. So ready. Yeah, he was ready for it. He's gonna be able to push through the wall. This is what what? Yeah, wrong, wrong move there. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure what he was going for there. Could probably but, try to go with the quarter circle 4-2-1. Yes. And nice. another one. A perfect example of how good 3 plus 4 is in the Akuma matchup. Causes so much issues for him. Oh, where's Honey? How is he going to answer back? He has a bar meter to work with. Yeah, and that's where it's dangerous, of course. Jimmy's going to have to be very, very careful to stay out of that range yeah. where he can both use standing two. There it is. He's, thre he's thre threatening the orbital as well, which can go can go over the down threes. But it's okay. Oh, where's Honey? Manages to get a combo here. Big damage. And he has an extra meter as well. Nice punish there from Jimmy. Yeah, not out of it yet. Oh, convert. Gatling punch, the follow-up. He has the wall here. Using the wow. re-splat. Brilliant. I like what I'm seeing here. Goes to the mid. Now what, Jimmy with the rage. I mean, he can end it with one hit. Oh, my. Oh. The down four. You have to have confidence to do that move. Mm -hmm. Final round, first game. Who's going to take it? Who is going to draw first blood here in this series? 
Again, using that down three, he's close to having two meters as well. He's at one and a half right now. Oh, man. Just goes right under the back punch. Yeah. Away is hiding with the down three. Should be able to take it to the wall and almost get another bar meter. Oh, he missed the running three. Oh, that could have been Ooh. bad. He went for the jet upper. Big win for the Super Swan. No punish. Have you got another clean hit? Mark, this might be it. If he can find the wall, it's a small stage. Oh, he dropped the jab. Good punish there from Jimmy. What's he going to do here? He's going to have to clutch this one out. This is going to be very difficult. Nice side step, no punish. Oh man, Brian at the wall is so scary. One taunt back force, all he needs. But he manages to get himself out of there. Orbital. Oh, he was out of range here. Starts to use the rage drive. Oh my god. Oh, oh. the side step, that was good. He's surviving with a single pixel. How, how long has it been? Oh, he's still got nine more seconds. Oh, and he gets hit oh. with a down four three there. Wow. Oh, where's Honey? That does not disappoint. <laughs> yeah. That was quite the battle between these two brilliant players. Yes, definitely know that Jimmy has his answers for Akuma, but oh, where's Honey just one step ahead, man. The whiff punishment as well, we have to mention it, man. Oh, where's Honey's whiff punishment with Akuma is better than everyone's that we've seen with Akuma, man. Yeah. That standing two is I so mean, good. standing two is not a quick move, right? It's mm. not a jab. He is able to cover so much ground with that yeah. and really make things happen. And understand the spacing as well required. Right, we've got the Aussie shouting for Always Honey. <laughs> <laughs> all right, starting off here. <laughs> you see that little eyebrow raise from Jimmy? He's like, oh, all right, all right. The oh, crowd is getting hyped. They're getting excited. Here we go. Pakistan oh. versus USA. This is the stage, too. This is the stage that Jimmy loves. Yep. Let's see how it works out. The adjustment. Has there been enough data to download? Wait and see, that is the wrong punish. Nice! I like that standing too. Gets the wall here. No break though. Oh. Doesn't matter. Oh, he had a big opportunity there. Yeah, that would have been huge damage. The, oh, the bait. He canceled it just in time there. Able to get a punish. But of course, this is the time where you start taking some liberties here, especially when Akuma does not have meter. Yes, absolutely. You have to have a quick start, man. Before he gets all those resources. Yeah, don't let him build that meter. Back one. Oh, oh he was waiting for it. Good space to get from Jimmy at the moment. Oh, where's Honey? Just one step ahead at the moment. Rage available, but not able to use it. Oh, where's Honey on the board? Second match. Yeah, oh, Wise Honey really showing his knowledge here in the matchup as well. Yeah. Not afraid of Brian. Oh. Wow, look at these pokes. Everything is landing here for Oh, Wise Honey. Oh, man, he's not letting Jimmy out. The wall bounce. Oh, where's Honey will move quickly onto set point here to take it over Jimmy 2 to 0. Oh. oh, man. He is playing out of his mind. He's he has definitely turned it up. He's carrying the hopes and dreams of a country on his shoulders right now. This is no joke. A West Honey with a combo opportunity. Uh oh. Flash here in front of him. What's he going to do? Yeah. Jimmy going back the other way. No, oh, unfortunate there. He hasn't gotten the right drop. Uh oh. Oh, this is big. Woo. Oh my god. Look at the damage. Oh my what? gosh. What, what, what a combo. combo. Hey, man, that move made me feel good. <laughs> uh oh, wrong punish. Gotta be careful. Oh, the oh, orbit town. Here we go, Jimmy staying alive here. Two rounds to one. Let's see what happens. The crowd is alive. Nice block and a great punish there. Oh, that gosh. is a sick punish. <laughs> Breaks the wall. Here we go. Nice, oh, goes yeah. for the demon pop because Jimmy and the re splat. Is this enough? Go. Oh, no. Unfortunate there. That could have been more damage there for Jimmy. Rage drives bent. He wants that wall. What's he gonna do? This is tough. Went for the counter, confirmed. Unable to get it, but a dive kick. And look at that. A Weiss able to destroy Jimmy 2 0. Damn. So that now means that Nobi and Awais Honey are both 4 and 0 in matches at the top of that leaderboard. Jimmy J. Tran losing two matches 0 and 4. Damn. So Jimmy not having the best start of. Uh, of this Tekken Finals. Yeah, tough. I mean, that puts him into a position where he's now lost two matches. Yeah, lost two matches, and, and that's zero games won as well. It's, it's rough, it's rough, it's rough, man. But uh, ladies and lads, this pool is stacking up to be very, very interesting. You definitely don't want to miss it. We're going to have a short break, and when we return, more Group D action. Don't go anywhere.